Thank you, Mr. Fitzgerald. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank CoLab and the Colexco Chamber for hosting this event this evening. Uh, the election year is about five, uh, five weeks out, 35 days. Uh, we're going to uh, make some very important decisions. And having these events gives the uh, voters the opportunity to truly understand what are our qualifications and our experience level to be the next County Board of Supervisor. And I'd like to jump right in with that. First of all, I have 12 years of experience as a former County Board of Supervisor and dealing with the county budget, our personnel, but more importantly, the federal tax dollars that came to Imperial County that helped pay for services that a lot of us depend upon. And the first issue that I'd like to address is the payment in lieu of taxes. In 2001, I attended the NACO conference as a public land steering committee member. Now this is a very important uh, committee appointment because these are three million dollars a year that are designated here to Imperial County because of over 50% of our lands here are in public lands. Now how important do you feel it is that a County Board of Supervisor be there at those meetings advocating for those monies to come into Imperial County year after year? And it wasn't $3 million at first. The first year that we were uh, advocating for this money, this level was only at $719,000. But because of the PILT formula, that there was not a full funding of those dollars coming to Imperial County. And we continue to lobby a con uh, congressional members, Senate members, on why these monies needed to come here. These pay for a very important public safety services that if not funded by the federal government, it would be in the county budget that we would have to pay for these uh, services. And so being appointed on that committee and also being on the District Advisory Council to the Bureau of Land Management, you continue to have that face time with congressional members and Senate members and two appointments by the two secretaries, Secretary Bruce Babbitt first, and the second appointment was by Secretary of Interior Gail Norton. And so these monies were continually being brought into Imperial County. Almost $20 million in the 12 years that I attended uh, these uh, National Association of County meetings. And this is the first year that we saw from an ACO press release that county services in jeopardy of commerce fails to fund Built. Now they say this program has a, a mile wide of support, however only an inch deep. This is why you need the qualifications, experience, leadership at the County Board of Supervisor level here and vote Wally Limegruber June 3rd, District 5 County Board of Supervisor. Thank you. Mr. Castillo. Yes, thank you. Um, first of all, CoLab and Colectico Chamber of Commerce, thank you for hosting uh, this forum. I think it's important that the citizens listen and hear what their candidates stand for so that may, they may make an informed decision come election day. <coughs> I'm a native of Imperial Valley, born and lived, uh, lived here all my life, born in Colexico, raised in El Centro, uh, attended schools in El Centro, Central Union High School, uh, and then uh, as a policeman uh, back in 1969, worked my way through college, uh, Imperial Valley College, and then on to San Diego State University. After eight years, I graduated with my bachelor's degree, went to work for the county as a probation officer. And also worked at Customs for two years, and, and then moved on to work for the Department of Corrections. After 34 years of law enforcement, I retired. Uh, my political uh, involvement in the community has uh, passed 20 years as a planning commissioner first for the city of El Centro, and then the city councilman, uh, then mayor in 2004, then I ran for the County Board of Supervisors, elected in 2010. I've been serving now for the last past three and a half years. It's been a really good time. Uh, we've done, seen a lot of progress in this valley as far as renewable energy development. I think we need to continue to move forward. Recently, we've had some, some minor setbacks with the National Beef closure down and as well as ICE, but I think we can overcome that in time. Uh, the lithium extraction the symbol is going to be big for this county and we need to work on that. Uh, when you talk about PILT money, our total funding uh, budget for the county general fund this year was $212 million, so $3 million is, is, is a drop in the bucket when you look at the overall budget. 
And it's important that we get the $3 million, but there's a lot of stuff, bigger stuff that we need to do and, and expand and grow our economy to improve the quality of life for all our residents and also to bring good paying jobs to this valley. We started with the solar renewable and as well as the end, uh, wind energy, and now we need to focus on geothermal and expand that. That in turn will bring uh, industry and hopefully manufacturing. Uh, the symbol could potentially create uh, a manufacturing plant to build uh, uh, lithium batteries in this county, uh, as well as possibly a, a, bulk, a battery for electric cars. So there's a lot of potential there. We need to continue moving forward, expand our economy, make this a better place for all of us, uh, create good paying jobs. Uh, the the uh, solar renewable that's being built now, there's a lot of union jobs, and sure, it's seasonal, it's only for a time, but a lot of our, our, our people in this county are getting on with the union, uh, and as jobs close down, they move on to the next job, whether it be in San Diego or Riverside County, but they're, they're employed, and, and it's really been good for our valley. So we need to focus on that and make sure that we continue to promote that, uh, the, especially when it comes to, to the geothermal energy. So it's promising, and, and I think we're, we're on the right track. Uh, PILT is very important. I agree with Mr. Langruber, and we need to focus, you know, put, make sure that our legislators continue to fund that. It can't go away. But it's, as I mentioned, 212 million, 3 million of PILT. Uh, yeah, it can make an impact, so we need to focus on that, but also focus on renewable energy. Thank you, Mr. Kessler. I want to echo the, the comments of the other candidates that I appreciate the forward thinking of the collab group and also the joint chambers on putting this together to help inform the community on who is the best candidate for the Office of County Board of Supervisors. Uh, my name is Kevin McFadden. I'm running for District 5. You know, I was born and raised in, in El Centro, California myself. I graduated from Central Union High School. Upon graduation, I, just, I had to choose between two different universities, Morehouse College in Atlanta and NYU in New York. I decided to go to Morehouse College. After I left Morehouse, my family uh, got into a little, we had little issues and I had to come back to help to support my family. So in that process, I went to IBC, ultimately transferred to UCSD, University of California, San Diego, where I got my degree in political science and a minor in history. Through that time, I started coaching when I was 14 years old, basketball, and I've been coaching basketball and football since that age. I first started, I was the youngest coach in the state of California, the head basketball coach at Central Union High School. I went on from there and left Central and went on to the, the college, and I was an assistant coach at IBC. And then I came back and started coaching women's basketball as an assistant at Central Union High School. What does that have to do with running for the county board and for this position in particular? Well, as a coach, you go through a lot of adversity. Imperial County has gone through a lot of adversity as of late. You know, we've had some losses, and as a coach, you know, I've experienced some bad losses, but we've always come back. And I think we're at a pivotal time in our history where we can make some adjustments to where we're going and get away from, as a coach, what you do is you build teams. You know, we need a person in the position that's willing to build teams, that's willing to get away from the silos that are currently in Imperial County, to draw other people into the conversation to try to move us forward. I agree that there is some potential in the geothermal to move us in a direction that will ultimately benefit the whole county. I think what has been lacking in Imperial County has been that leadership to draw other people in. We continue to stay in our, in our silos, and one of the things that I always say, and I always told my players, if you do the same thing and expect a different outcome, Einstein says that's the definition of insanity. So if you're happy with what you've had, if you think that that's the way we need to go, then, that's not, then I'm not that candidate. But I think there is a clear definition that we need to go in a different direction. So I'd appreciate your vote on June 3rd for Kevin McFadden, District 5 Supervisor, Board of Supervisors. Thank you.